So we just arrived in Dubrovnik and it's absolutely beautiful as you can see. Oh, never mind, that's a house. Uh, yes, we just arrived here. We've been in Spleet um, for the last couple days. Oh, there's a car. Actually, it's a police car. Um, yeah, so we've just been in um, Spleet the last couple days, just like relaxing and going to the beaches and stuff. And it's been so beautiful here. And I'm so excited. I've always wanted to come to Dubrovnik. So excited to go check out the city and I'm gonna show you guys around. Yeah, you're back in your hands and clammy. You're clammy. Oh, I know I'm clammy. I'm always clammy. You're never clammy. <laughs> this makes me happy that you get clammy. I think that's funny that you have documented my clammy hands on my vlog. Yep, hope everyone knows how clammy your hands are. This is the one bit of tidbit information everyone needs to know. No. I never have clammy hands. No? Feel this one. It's not clammy. Oh, super clear. No, do the back of the hand. Do the back of the hand. Okay, the back of the hand is clammy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really, it's really clammy. Yeah. Look, my hand being clammy is no Oh my god, look at this little cat. Oh, you guys. There's two. It's just... Wait, uh, we can't get too far behind. We're going around the corner. Hello. There's three, by the way, and there's one over there. Oh, there's another one too. Hey guys, so we just got back to Spleet. We drove um, from Dubrovnik to Spleet um, this afternoon, which was good because it ended up raining for like the first time ever here, so it kind of worked out well, and then we skipped the rain. And yeah, so I didn't really vlog a whole lot of this trip because the majority of it was just like 
going to the beach and just kind of hanging around a little bit, just relaxing in the beginning, which isn't all that too interesting. But um, all in all, Croatia is just so beautiful. I really like the beaches and I also think the scenery here is really nice. There's so many mountains. I thought that Dubrovnik was really cool. It was like much tinier than I expected. I honestly didn't do a whole lot of research on it. So it was, um, it was, it was really tiny, but like it was really, really beautiful at the same time. Um, we are going to go for dinner tonight, one last dinner in Croatia, and we're going to get some seafood. So that's supposed to be really good because we've just been eating like, <laughs> like pizza and pastries and that kind of stuff because we, well, we went to the supermarket and bought like fruit and veg and that kind of thing, but we've really just kind of been on the go and not really doing a whole lot of restaurants. And when you travel, those sometimes are like the best and most convenient things because after like being out traveling all day, walking around a city all day, like it's kind of the last thing you want to do. Like you're tired and you just want to grab something. So in my experience, it's not the healthiest, but you also don't really have healthy options here. Like you can't just go to a, um, like a health food cafe. There's not a whole lot, but it doesn't really matter because you get to try all these different like local pastries and whatnot and they're all so so good so yeah thanks for watching and we are on our way to portugal in the morning so i'm going to be doing a, be, going to be doing a uh, lisbon vlog as well so stay tuned for that and i will see you then